For those that have a cockpit of multiple Garmin Avionics, the Garmin Aviation Database Manager offers a simpler way to load your databases. The process is called synchronization, or often referred to as sync. The sync process allows you to load the removable media appropriate to your system into a single avionic and transmit and install the databases to other Garmin avionics. This simplifies loading databases and eliminates the need to create multiple sets of removable media that must be loaded into individual avionics. Before using Sync the first time in the Garmin Aviation Database Manager, please check to assure your avionics are compatible with the Sync process and meet the software version requirements. Visit the Garmin Aviation Support Center within the Fly Garmin website and type Sync within the search box to discover if there are any limitations for your avionics. When you use the Garmin Aviation Database Manager to load databases into an aircraft with multiple Garmin avionics, you will be asked on the Install Database Updates page whether you will be performing a standard update or a sync update. Note the help information when you mouse over the blue icon with a question mark and how multiple cards may be needed in certain situations. So which process should you choose? When you load databases for the first time, use the standard process. Always load the terrain database using the standard process. Terrain is a very large file and is only loaded every one or two years. The terrain database can take a very long time to load and thus may complicate the sync process when loading the more frequently updated databases. If different databases are to be loaded into different avionics, you will need to use the standard option. You should use sync for your regular 28-day and 56-day non-terrain database updates. The Garmin Aviation Database Manager will not offer the sync option if you only have multiple GI-275 avionics in your aircraft. You do not have to load the GI-275 separately. You will load your databases by inserting the USB into a single USB port. The databases will then automatically load to all GI-275s. If you have problems loading your databases, it may be when you're also updating the large terrain database. Try loading the terrain database separately. Let's look at an example where you will load the normal 28-day and 56-day database cycles and the infrequent terrain database. We will select the Perform a Sync Update option for the two GTNs and a G500. All the avionics should have checks in the box. Click Continue. You will reach this Install Database Updates page where all the avionics you've selected for databases appear at the top. The databases to be loaded are listed below. Notice that all the databases are automatically selected for the update expired databases. Deselect the terrain database. The terrain database will be loaded separately since it's loaded infrequently and is a very large file. When you click continue, follow the prompts and you will create removable media for the sync update. This summary page will appear when the databases have been loaded onto the card. Click Done and remove your media. This creates the sync card to load all your databases except terrain. Notice the message at the bottom. This message is a reminder that you should return to the dashboard to check the overall status of your databases. When you return to the dashboard, you will see that you still have a database that has expired. In this case, the terrain database was not loaded. This requires updating the terrain database using the standard process. Now, you will repeat the loading process for the terrain database by selecting Perform a Standard Update. Notice all three avionics are checked. When you select the Standard Update option, you will load an individual SD card for each of the avionics. Click Continue to start the process. This time, 
select only the Terrain database to be loaded onto your SD card for the GTN 7XX. Click on Continue to Step 2 of 3. You will repeat this selection process for the GTN 6XX and the G500. Once your selection is made for each card, you are provided a list of individual avionics with the steps to complete each card. You will end up with three cards in this example. Follow the instructions on the left where you will be instructed at the appropriate time to place an SD card in your SD drive on the computer. You will continue to follow the loading process until all the cards are complete. Now you will have a card with a terrain database to load for each avionic. In this example, you will end up with four SD cards to be loaded in the aircraft. The single card created by the sync process will download the 28-day and 56-day cycles databases. Load this first into your avionics and let it sync. Next, load the three SD terrain cards created with the standard process into the appropriate avionic. Remember, when your databases are to be updated and terrain remains current, you can update the rest of the expired databases with the sync process to simplify your database loading. If you haven't already, please visit the Garmin Aviation Database Manager Quick Start Guide video to learn the basics of using the Database Manager.